getting the perfect ring for your lady. Uh, I remember feeling a lot of stress when I went through that process, so I'm really wish I had the, the knowledge of my next guest here, Jean Sonia. How are you today? I'm very good, thanks. So, Jean, what is your role in uh, in the whole ring process? What uh, what what does a diamond appraiser do? Well, I have, I have two roles. One, I'm a diamond appraiser, so if you come in with a, a ring that you have existing, I can appraise it for you. And two, that gives me the expertise and the knowledge to bring you the best diamond for your budget, basically. Okay, so, so you mentioned start budget. To I, like I said, I felt a lot of stress because my wife is really good at telling me what she doesn't want. She didn't give me any ideas of what she was looking for. She said, no, I don't want what yellow gold. Uh, I don't want it to be too big. Uh, I don't want a, more than one diamond. So she gave me a lot of ideas, but. I was still very nervous because it's a big it's a big purchase, correct? It's a huge purchase, probably the one you're going to make for the rest of your life or with the, with the, the hope, I guess, or the expectation that that's that. Um, and really, most girls know exactly what they want from the time they're two or three or four all the way through, but the guy is the one with the budget and the, the pocket and the wallet and everything else. And most guys come in and say, here's what she wants, but I don't know, right? right. So from there to go. So basically what I would do with then is walk you through, we have a variety of settings, so you sort of get a feel for what you're looking at and what she wants or doesn't want, and then what diamond do you want, and that's the biggest thing. So where are you on the criteria, what does she need, what does she really want, what's important, what are the key factors. So what are some options as far as factors go? Well everybody talks about the four C's, so you've got your cut, your clarity, your color, and your carat weight, okay. and so that's key. But of all of that, everybody tends to focus on clarity, because that's when everybody, all the commercials say clarity, clarity, clarity. In reality, the cut is critical. Okay. So if you have a great clarity content and a great big diamond and it's a poor cut, it's not going to shine. It won't look good. It's uh, not nice. going to look good. So that's I have one. I just want to quickly sure. point out yeah. this one. So this one looks very nuts. A one carat, beautiful diamond, solitaire setting, white gold. That is actually a G color SI2. So okay. on the clarity scale, it's down a bit. On the color scale, it's D is your best and G is down the road a bit. And yet that's a beautiful diamond because the is. cut is very good. So, the, so you can kind of almost cheat a little bit and get away with uh, right. less clarity if you have a nicer cut. Exactly. I see. Yeah, exactly. Well, Most people don't realize that. This is very to uh, what my wife got. I got very lucky as well. She's got tiny hands, so the rock I got looks a little <laughs> looks bigger huge. than it actually is. Yeah. yeah. Now there's more than just the engagement ring as well. It's uh, kind of a set. Absolutely. So if you're doing an engagement ring, the, the best thing to do is buy your wedding band at the same time. Okay. Because if you buy an engagement ring today and you get married two years from now, you're going to have a real challenge matching a wedding band to that. So get both at the same time and it'll save a lot. I've got a couple here. Uh, that's a set there that's together. So you see they fit together and these as well fit oh, together. So they actually, so they actually well, they're, they're made at the same time. That. So then the diamonds perfectly line up to the band. And if you go after to try and get this to happen, it's going to be a challenge. That will be a challenge. Yeah. So what kind of so. trends are we seeing? I mean, I know a lot of people, there was a trend there where they wanted colored diamonds, like you wanted a pink diamond or yellow. Um, what kind of trends are we seeing in the industry right now? Tiffany tends to be the one that yeah. all girls are thinking about. So whether it's actually a Tiffany ring or a Tiffany lookalike or something along that line, typically the solitaire always stays popular and then the halo setting. So. Um, one of these settings here with the halo around it. I have a cup, this one as well. So this is more of an antique look with a halo setting. So when you but say halo, is that the diamonds, the diamonds around? all around? Oh, I see. And this sure. is actually quite good because what this allows you to do is put a smaller stone in the middle and still get the illusion of a very large stone that or a very sense. large ring. So again, if you're on a budget, that's a great solution. Now this guy here, is this uh, a man's wedding band or is this? Nope, that's an eternity band or a wedding band or uh, an anniversary ring. It can be done. This one has been made with diamonds all around with the exception of the bottom. Okay. And this, I find this to be more practical because your diamonds don't get beaten all day long. Yeah, so if yeah. you're wearing it every day, you don't abuse your stones. So you said anniversary ring. You mean my job isn't done yet? No, oh, it's goodness. never done. So it's never done. Up. I mean, the, the cardinal rule is, uh, you hear it all the time, three months salary. You save up three months salary, that's what... Uh, the, the engagement ring should go for, but right. that's a big challenge these days. It's a huge challenge these days, and what I hear from a lot of the grooms, they come in, or the couples, they come in, they want to buy a house, house prices are out of this world right now, so where are your priorities? You need a holiday, you need a honeymoon, you need the wedding, and so it's a, it's a big challenge. It's, it's a, a lot, challenge, I mean, so. so that's, I mean, we had to make sacrifices. We didn't do the honeymoon until a couple of years later because of everything else. Right. Uh, but we had an amazing day. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't end at the ring, right? So maybe it does for the groom as far as shopping, but the, the, the bride has to accessorize the day of. The day of, and, and the bridal, the party. The party right. has to be outfitted, okay. so gifts and everything else that goes on. And so I carry a line of pearls. They're custom made in Montreal um, so by beautiful. Olga. They're Olga pearls. And uh, her, her pride and, and joy is that she's versatile. So this can be worn on the wedding day. It comes apart and you can wear it long. Uh, after you can add a pendant to it so this could be on your wedding day and then you can add a pendant to this later you can wear it front or back she no does way, them in all colors that day. you can right. have a piece of jewelry that lasts the rest of your life yes so this one can be long worn it can be worn long you can add a pendant to it so more uses for that so basically if you come in 
there's something for everybody. Um, the, the bridesmaids, the groomsmen, cufflings, all of that has to be thought about and planned and purchased. Now, the, uh, the, the, the groom wears a, wing, a ring as well. Um, yes. What is that process like? Is it, I mean, they're a little more laid back. That's pretty simple. Yeah. So you just get a size, and do you want titanium, white gold, yellow gold? What do you want, and how do you want it to look? And it's usually a very simple Easy process. Peasy, yeah. Yes. We yeah. know that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to be at the show. What, kinda, what can we expect to see at the show? I'll have some of my stuff there. I will have um, a ballot going for a draw for a prize. Um, so clean, uh, I'm going to clean jewelry that day. I'll have my cleaners there. So if anybody wants to bring the jewelry by, drop it in, clean it, watch it while it's there, because that's the key thing is don't let your diamonds out of your sight anywhere, anytime. Um, so yeah. So. How often should we be getting our jewelry cleaned? My wife and I have been married just over five years now. Five years now. Clean whenever you can, yeah. but check the claws. Okay. And the claws are critical on the girls' rings because most of us have a claw that sits up, and every time we take our clothes off and on, you Can't pull catch. the claw a little bit. So eventually you've lost a stone, and it's a drag. So now, check your claws all the time. We were chatting a little bit earlier. You said one key thing you want to make sure you're doing. If you're not uh, seeing you to get a ring, you want to make sure you get a certificate when you do make that purchase. Right. Why is that so important? Well, everybody saw, I'm an, an appraiser. I give out certificates for appraisals, but GIA, um, is world known and anybody that's selling a stone or buying a stone should have a certificate whether it's a GIA certificate or an appraisal certificate so that you know the consumer that you're getting what they say you're buying. Good. I mean there's a that's lot of people that they're saying they're selling quality diamonds and that might not be the case so that's you right. want to make sure you yeah. have that back. Well you want to know where your inclusion is too so if you've got a stone that's got a lot of inclusions in it you want to know where they are just so you know yourself when you look at it is a good diamond bad diamond if you get it cleaned is that still the same diamond you had before all of those little things. You want to know what you're getting. So do, do you have a favorite look as far as rings go? Is it nice and clean or do you like a lot of diamonds around it? No, I like this look. This yeah. is a very classy look and it never goes out of style. Never, right? yeah. So, yeah, but. It's going to carries over. This, but, is the, this is very similar to what my wife wears. Um, and you know, like I said to her, uh, you a little earlier, we got the wedding band after and we kind of went down the cheap side of it and she actually dealt with some eczema under the, the right. ring. So it is important to make sure you're getting quality. And you get what you're buying at once. So get what you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the other advantage that I have is if you come in and I had one young guy come in, he had his mother's original diamond and it was a 0.25 oh, carat. Very beautiful. small, but that's what she wanted him to use and she really wanted him to use it. And the grandfather and all. Anyway, big long family history. We put it in a halo setting. That's perfect. I love that you carry that over. That's beautiful. I'm sorry beautiful. To, to cut you off. Thank nope, you so much it. for coming. Check her out of the show. You're not going to regret it. Stay with us, old friends. we got lots more coming up on day 10.